Welcome to the Core Rush channel. Today we are busting the FBI Defenders Castle and Pulse for Rainbow Six Siege. Enjoy. First up we have Castle. Castle's unique gadget is his deployable armor panel which can be placed on windows or doors and it's a tougher version of the wooden barricade you normally get. It's possible to recover Castle barricades this is only capable of being done by holding the X to remove the barricade. Now friendlies can do this, it will actually return it to your inventory even if you're on the other side of the map, so very handy. But if damage is done to destroy the barricade, it will not return to your inventory. However, your friendly can come across and just rip it down. So if you're on the other side of a map and you're like, crap, I really need a castle barricade over here and I put them on the wrong side of the map, you can just get your buddy to rip it down and then you can throw it back up wherever you want. However, however, if the barricade is destroyed by damage, then you do not get a new one back. It's possible to destroy castle armor panels by meleeing them. So if you're all out of breaching charges and you're on attack and you're trying to get past castle's armor panels, you can destroy them with melee. It takes time. It takes a total of 12 hits and the enemy can see that you're doing it from the other side. However, at least it gives you the option if you are out of breaching charges or any kind of breaching capability. Castle's armor panels are also resistant to bullets, so anything from an SMG, assault rifle or pistol will have no effect on the castle whatsoever. Even something like Chichanka's turret, which has high caliber rounds, will actually have no effect on the actual castle barricade. There's only one weapon in the game that has any effect on the castle barricades. As you can see here, we're emptying every single round Chichanka has into the castle barricade. And we're actually going to melee it to show that there is no physical damage done to the castle barricade by all these bullets from Jachanka's rifle. So again, we're going to hit it and we're going to get exactly the same amount of hits as we did in the original test. And that is 12 hits. The only gun that is capable of penetrating castle armor panels is Glass. And with his high caliber rounds, he can put sizable holes in the barricade that you can actually see through and shoot through but also he can shoot the castle barricade enough times to completely destroy it. This takes exactly the same amount of shots as it does to melee, so a total of 12 shots. While deploying castle's barricade, the visible part of the barricade is bulletproof. It used to be in past patches not bulletproof at all until it was fully deployed, you, actually, you were actually able to shoot through it. Nowadays, it's actually bulletproof where it's supposed to be bulletproof when you are deploying it. So Castle is relatively protected while he's actually deploying his castle on a window. There's only a short time where he's actually able to be shot. Now if you're Ash and you decide to shoot an Ash breaching round at Castle's barricade while he is actually deploying it, the Ash breaching round will actually just bounce off. It won't detonate and it will not damage the Castle barricade. So make sure if you see Castle building up his barricade, you wait till it's actually completed before you actually fire the ash breaching round, otherwise it'll just bounce off and be completely useless. Now because Glass can shoot through the castle barricade, he can also shoot through while it is being deployed. So if you see castle putting a barricade up with your Glass, you can definitely take a very good shot and get an easy kill. One of the biggest weaknesses for castle barricades is that they can be fused. This will actually make a physical hole that you can actually shoot through in the castle barricade when you put a castle barricade on a window. It is recommended not to put these on objective windows because you're just making it very safe for a fuse to fuse you. Another weakness to the castle barricades is that Sledge can go through them in one melee attack from his hammer and he goes straight through no problem. They can also be destroyed by grenades if they are perfectly positioned if the grenades are a little bit short, they will not actually destroy the castle barricades. And it used to be that they would actually put holes in the castle barricades that you could shoot through and it was a very handy tactic. Nowadays, it doesn't actually make those holes at all. You can see where they would have been, but now they no longer make a full hole actually through the castle barricade. So you're unable to actually do that anymore, unfortunately. But it does do physical damage. As you can see here, we're gonna melee this castle barricade and it's actually going to take less melee attacks because the grenade actually did physical damage to the castle barricade. So we'll have a look and it takes exactly 10 hits which is 2 less than usual 
Castle's name is Miles Campbell. He was born September 20th, 1980 in Sherman Oaks, California. His height is 6'1". Next up, we've got Pulse. Pulse's unique gadget is his heartbeat sensor, which allows him to see enemy positions through things like walls. Pulse's heartbeat sensor range is 10 meters. However, this has changed quite a lot throughout the history of the game. It was actually a lot longer at one period, it was shorter at another period, and it's been moving back and forward. And where it is now is pretty perfect. Hopefully this is where it will stay. At some points it was overpowered, at some points it was underpowered. So this is where it is now, a 10 meter range. And when you're detecting someone, the noise will get faster if they are closer. And if you, you know, you're never gonna get this close, but if you do get this close, you can actually see the proper heart beating, which is kind of cool. You can kind of see it's like the left and right ventricle going, and that's kind of a nice little detail. Now, the other thing is that Thatcher can actually disable the heartbeat sensor for a short amount of time. So the EMP can actually switch off the sensor and actually make it inoperable for a considerable amount of time. And that is, of course, a very good counter if you're up against a very good pulse who is destroying your team. You bring along a Thatcher and you know where pulse is, you can disable his advantage for a little bit of time. Another counter to Pulse is IQ. She is actually able to detect Pulse at a range of 20 meters. So she can actually see him far before he can see her. And of course, this is a very big advantage and means that you can potentially locate that Pulse without actually putting yourself in any danger and allowing you to take shots at him without him being able to see you. And of course, this is a great tactic. Like for instance, here we've got Pulse, he's hiding down in this dark area. Normally, you wouldn't know he was there, but of course with the sensor, you're actually able to detect him, make a move on him and kill him. Pulse's name is Jack Estrada. He was born October 11th, 1984 in Goldsboro, North Carolina. His height is 6'2". Guys and girls, thank you very much for watching this episode of Bustin' Rainbow Six Siege. I'm gonna recommend that you watch Rogue Nine's video on suppressors, worth it. This is a wonderful video that lets you kind of delve into the depths of the great statistics that Rogue Nine comes up with and actually makes you wonder if you should use a silencer on certain weapons and he very much shows which weapons you should not use a silencer on because they actually nerf the weapons considerably compared to other weapons. So I'll go check that out and I'll catch you next time.